Using these symbols, we can now say that the demand for fried chicken at any given time is a function of taste and preferences, T, the income of these prospective buyers, Y, and the price of fried chicken pieces, PX. There are other factors, however, that also affect the quantity demanded, such as the number of potential buyers willing to purchase. This is indicated by the symbol N. And then there's the price of related goods, indicated by PG. A special on hamburgers might be so good that you could eat them and have income left over for chicken tomorrow. Or there may be a special where you can get a free soda with pizzas at the place round the corner, so you buy that instead. And there are other factors too, such as the expected prices on a special offer starting tomorrow. Or maybe the service at some stores is better than others, and so on. All these other factors are represented by the three dots at the end of the equation. So there it is. The quantity demanded is a function of tastes and preferences, T, income, Y, the price of the good, PX, the number of potential buyers, N, the price of related goods, PG, and other factors, dot, dot, dot. <laughs>